You don't really think I'm going to allow you to provoke me like that, do you? No matter. In any case, don't think you'll be seeing the Queen again. Threats? How charming. I imagine that they're the famous blood seekers whose merits you extol to the Queen. That is indeed them. Yonder Zeal and Wex, whom you see here, are my lieutenants. If I were you, I would be more worried about their daggers than my enemy's weapons. And you would be right. They could turn against me at any moment. But they are aware that it is not in their best interests. One never knows. A man of honor might have an attack of conscience at just the wrong time, whereas my blood seekers never hesitate. That is precisely what makes them so valuable. So, all they need is a generous offer and they'll cut your throat in your sleep. How much would you be willing to offer, my lord? You would need enough to pay all of the blood seekers. A single assassin would have no chance against Sir Valar. Aye. The two idiots who gave it a try came to a bad end. There's no point in accepting a fortune if you die before getting it. I have rarely seen a better demonstration of loyalty. Right. Well, it is time to take care of the Queen's request. And it begins here, in this potter's workshop. What does the potter have to do with the man we seek? The mother hand does not carry this name by chance. The man has many protégés in King's Landing. One of them is a potter's apprentice here. He is named Harry Waters. He is a bastard. My spies reported that the Mother Hand's men watch him closely. Let's go rough him up a bit. It should get the Mother Hand to come out of his hole. Yon, tell us what you have learned. Young Harry is working here now, I am sure of it. On the other hand, he is not alone. The shop is full of apprentices. Old Jeremy loves the company of young boys from what I've heard. What shall we do with these other sweet lads? Kill them. I won't have them running around talking about what they saw. Then it would be best to start by not killing anyone. When swords do the talking, things quickly get out of hand. That Harry, does he know you? Does he have reason to be wary of you? Not yet. Why? Then let us simply ask to speak with him. Let us bring him to a private place and take care of this matter without touching his companions. Their deaths will bring us nothing. I always forget what a delicate constitution you have. But perhaps you're right for once. You three, stay back and let Alistair talk. If the potters get restless, you'll know what to do. Let's go. an honor your visit is for me. I am Jeremy, Master Potter. I own this modest establishment. How might I be of assistance to you? Dennis, go fetch wine from the trial for their lordships. Move it! Yes, Master. The wine will not be necessary, thank you. We would like to speak with one of your apprentices, a certain Harry Waters. This is where he works, is it not? Harry? Yes, he works here. But, has he done something wrong? No, 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 do not worry. One of my servants had a quarrel with him recently regarding a gaming debt. This situation is embarrassing and I would like to see it dealt with before leaving King's Landing. I would like to give compensation to your apprentice myself. That is very commendable of you, my lord. I'm certain that Harry will appreciate it. Unfortunately, he's uh, not available at the moment. He's not here. But I will tell him of your visit, never fear. Do not mock us, Potter. There's no need for that. What is wrong with you? This old goat is dripping with fear, Alistair. He won't give us the boy if we ask nicely. Is there something wrong, Master Jeremy? Dennis, don't get involved in this. 
Sirs, your hostile manner is unwelcome here. I must ask you to leave. Hold your tongue, boy, if you want to keep it. The only one we're interested in is Harry, Master. For the good of everyone here, you would do best to tell us where he is. Yes, yes, of course. He's just inside. Please forgive Dennis, my lords. He didn't think he was doing any harm. I'll have him whipped, yes. Now here's a person who knows when it's best to grovel. His way of crawling is edifying, Alistair. You should learn from it. Let us go find Harry, Valar. Hurry up and be done with this mess. Get back, murderers! You will not touch a hair on that child's head! Ah, the mother hen's lackeys. I wondered when you would finally join in the fun. Lord Weymer, what's all this? Who are these men? They're coming for you, Harry. Stay inside, you'll be safe. We'll see about that. Immediately. Warn the mother hen! Stay where you are, child. Run! We can't lose sight of him! Get away, rascals! 